back with another video. I told you guys I was trying to do like three or four videos tonight. I'm um, probably going to make it to the three, but uh, I am back with some more Warhammer uh, miniatures. And specifically, we are with the Sons of Behemoth army. Uh, I've been working on this army. This has been like our big stream for fantasy. Um, I promise you tomorrow we're going to start some 40k stuff. Because I promised the 40k crowd that I am doing 40k stuff. Um, I've been way overdue. i got to get this stuff done. It's some commission work. And I'm kind of embarrassed because I haven't taken the time to do this. So, uh, But we're going to continue with the Mega Gargants. Um, well, the Mega Gar or our giant painting that we were doing. But I wanted to review another model kit for the Sons of Behemoth. Because I was able to get my hands on GW's Giants. I said I wasn't going to buy these. But uh, someone was generous enough to give them to me. So, uh, again, I have to give a big shout out to um, Undiscovered Realms, who inadvertently is sponsoring this video, uh, for both hooking me up and getting the product that I needed. Um, and then some wonderful donors like you uh, made the other part happen. So, thank you for that. But uh, yeah, they, uh, so Undiscovered Realms, if you're in the New York area, they are an awesome shop. They do not only tabletop stuff, but they do Funko Pops. They do um, uh, retro toys. They do Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. And, and was, was the shop that I was playing at um, when the pandemic was not happening. So um, hopefully we'll get to the point where we don't, you know, I can get back to playing there. And hopefully I'll be doing some live events with them and things. But we're not there just yet. So uh, anyway... We're going to take a look at the Mega, the Mega Gargans, the Man Crusher Gargans. So these are the smaller giants that are not the Mega Gargans. This is their model kit. Normally it retails for one twenty-five. I didn't. I have to say that was not the price I got it at. So I'll be honest. Like I said, this was kind of donated to the channel. So I have to say thank you to the donor, which the donor didn't want to be named. So that's fine. Um, and like I said, Undiscovered Realms in New York. They also have a website, undiscoveredrealms.com. Check them out. Um, but we're going to take a look. Um, I was not as pleased with these giants, and I have ordered other giants as well. Um, but you need, in a Mega Gargant list, in a Sons of Behemoth list, in a Sons of Behemoth list, you're going to need more than just the two giants. You probably are going to need three of these guys. So I may sub in one giant, I may not. Um, you're going to see what I'm going to do with the model kit, which might make it make more sense in a minute. But um, So these are, if you're going to build them, this is, I think, the more standard builds you have. But what is kind of cool, which is part of why I was okay with getting this model kit, I didn't realize that you could build... Um, so you can either build the Asgul... 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 Or, Hmm. I can't see these names. <laughs> the you can see it here. The Alaguzzer Guzzler. I don't even know how to say that. Um, Gargans and Chaos Gargans. So this kit can make either. What I will say is, it, it's very confusing because it looks like it can make at least like five different giants. So um, when I started to look at the back of the box, I was like, "Oh, well, that giant's kind of cool." Um, looks very reminiscent of the Mantic Games giant. Just, they worked it a little bit. Um, and I think we've said it multiple times, or fo folks here have said it, I'll coin the phrase, these giants are what they call skinny fat. Um, so they're, they're like a little bit more leaner, lengthy giants, as opposed to, I don't know, I think of like lumbering giants as giants, but anyway... But when I saw these guys, I was like, oh, that's kind of cooler mods. And I guess I was really harping on the other one that kind of looks a little doofy. Um, but deep, when I saw these, I was like, oh, those are kind of cool. Like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll take the plunge. But then when I saw that, I was like, ooh, you can do Chaos Giants. And I'm like, okay, well, then I don't feel bad about getting the model kit because I can make the Chaos versions with this. And then I can keep going with the plan that I have for the other ones. And for us at the channel, that's going to be really helpful because there's going to be scenario play. I may want to use them. I may want to use them in War Cry as a scenario kind of game. So there's a lot of different ways I can use them. But I'm interested in breaking the kit open now. 
to see it actually looks like it's a little bit more customizable than I thought it was. So um, it, it, it actually intrigues me more to see. So we're going to do a little building, and then we're going to do a little painting. Because um, we got to get my Mega Gargant done. And like I said, this was donated to me, so I didn't really dish out the cash for it. Which is very rare for GW models. I don't usually get GW models for nothing. More every time you guys see me do a GW model, it, it's coming out of my pocket. So it's, it's kind of nice surprise. All right. Uh, and like I said, as always, all right. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So you got, you can see, we got the Alagazer Gargant and the Chaos Gargant. Okay. And then do we have other gargants we could build? I'm so confused. Oh, that, oh, oh that's kind of cool, though. Like, just to get that bit where you could have a guy running away from the giant. That's it's like halflings on him. All right. I was just going to say. All right, so I'm pretty sure... For the purposes of the behemoth army. See, and they kind of did this the last time, too. All right, so. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. He's got, like, this. He's got misformed hands. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so, like. Oh, he's got, like. Oh, he's, like. Okay. He's, like, he's got, like, hooved feet. Yeah, I'm definitely building that. I'm definitely building the chaos one. All right, but if I'm going to build the Chaos Gargant. I'm so confused by these instructions. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to absorb this. But how do you build the other ones? Okay, so there's a little bit of false advertising on the box because on the box it makes it seem like you can build a... All right, I am... Because the kit builds two giants. That's at least what I thought. If this kid only builds one giant, that's... Hey, hold on. Two Citadel miniatures. Okay. So it's two giants. You can you can have two giants. But what I'm confused by... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, got it. Okay. All right, so I got to make the bodies. The bodies are the same. It's everything else that's different. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, all right, got it. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. All right, so you guys can see what we're dealing with on sprues. Oh, look at those hooved feet. That's dope. I didn't realize it was hooved. He's... Oh, are there... Wait, are there bases... Wait, they're square? No, they're not. Why do they have square bases? Why are there squares here? What are... Wait, what? I'm so confused by that. That's a... Wait a minute. If I'm seeing that correctly, there are square sprues here. Why are there square... Oh, jeez. Oh, that's gonna be... Here we go. And this is where I glue myself to a table, guys. Get ready. It wouldn't be one of my build videos without me gluing myself to something with a crazy loop. Um, Alright, I'm confused by these. Don't know what those are for. If GW did something very intriguing, because they are... So these Gargans go on oval bases. 
They go on oval bases. Why did they give you square bases? I think they gave you bases for Kings of War. I really think they did. And if they did, I am very intrigued by that. Because why do you have square bases? Why are there square bases? That's a tell right there, guys. That's a big tell. That's a really big tell. Because those pieces are not in the assembly guide at all. I think they're trying to play to a king's crowd because that. Hmm. All right. Well, let's start building one. Now let's see where we go. I'm really intrigued by that. Ooh. Games Workshop trying to get into Kings of War territory. They are not even trying to hide. Because you think about it. Why would they give you square base? Because that would fit perfectly. It's even the right footprint. I think it's the... Oh, sneaky little devils. It's Games Workshop, guys. That's new. That's not in the original kit, I don't think. Or it is in the original kit, because you were probably... Oh, because right, because they were fantasy giants. They didn't even change the kit. Oh, jeez. And you know, this is one... Oh, did they do one of their classic other things where it's like, yep, they didn't number any of the pieces. I love when they do that. Because it's like, well... You're a pretty intelligent guy. Like, you can't screw this up. So they, they they make it so that it's like right there in the piece. They're like, oh, well, that piece and that piece are so distinct that you won't screw it up. So they don't label them. Um, I don't like when they do that. Because sometimes it's not that simple. But yeah, this is that is showing that this model kit is the same model kit that they had from before. That's what it. That's actually what that means. That square thing means. This is for fantasy. This is so you could do a fantasy square base, but they didn't give you the square base to put it on. So this is totally fantasy. When they tried to jazz fantasy up. Wow. Well, because and and it makes sense because the gargant. These are the old giant models, from well, not these are not the old old giant models from fantasy. These are these are the fantasy. These are prior to that. Really, I build giant models and everybody ran. Okay, interesting. Had three people watching me, and then they were like, I'm going to peace out. Unless you are still watching me. Because I tell you guys all the time that GW, GW, that Twitch is really bad at telling me uh, when people are watching me. It's There's like a let, there's a delay, there's a lag. I don't always see it in my post or my, my messages, so... If you guys are trying to tell me stuff, sometimes that is why I don't respond. I just do it like yeah, you really should do this with sandpaper. I do it with the the I do it with the bit of this, which is like not the right way to do it. And I'll, I'm gonna show you why. Cause like you can get into situations, and I'm about to get into one where I can start taking off detail or modeling from the actual model itself. That's why you should use sandpaper, uh, or you should use a knife to cut that off. You really shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I'm being I'm being a slight bit lazy. I'm being a lazy model builder. I do like this. They put little tabs, so that's where I'm gonna generously put my glue on. Oh jeez. So that uh my, my model has some, some chance, has some legs to maybe stay this time, assuming I don't do what I typically do and I'm about to do it. Ah where I glue myself to the model because I'm really good at doing that. You know, for somebody who has built a lot of models, I am extremely well-versed in gluing the model to myself because I'm just awesome at it. I'm just so good at it. I just can't, can't deny my skill. All right. And through the power of magic, I'm going to... Now, I should also say that... Um, I think I mentioned it on other other ones. But the fact that I don't use plastic glue is why I us usually have bigger seams in my model. If I were not to if I were to use plastic glue, I would have less seams cuz the pla the plastic glue fuses the plastic together. 
So that is why it is better to use plastic glue, but plastic glue does not set as fast as crazy glue. So that's why I like crazy glue, but it does cause more seams. Now also what can be causing your seams, which is not true in this one. Um, I will say in general, I have been a little bit more unhappy with GW's take on the Giants because they, they're they producing models with a lot of seams. <laughs> the seaming, the seams are bad on these models. Some of that has to do with the fact that they're old models. Older GW models, which don't have, which <laughs> that is why they have that kind of seaming because it's before they learned how to make models better. These are up a little bit more updated, but... Ooh, I just popped that right into my lap. So yeah, what's your first step for your two gargans are going to be to... Uh, man crushers. I keep saying gargans. Man crushers. Uh, your first thing is going to be... Uh, you're going to build the bodies. The bodies are the same. doesn't matter which one you go with. And then everything else is just you putting on different trinkets for the rest of them. So once you build the basic body, then you actually put all the accoutrements on, and then you're either creating the different types of... Oh, shark. Sorry. Uh, either man crushers or... Well, they're all man crusher gargan... They're all man crusher giants, but... That's when you're either making the sort of regular giant or the chaos giants. Uh, for our build here, we're going to do one as a regular giant and one as a chaos giant. Because um, basically my giant army is going to be very... I, it's going to be extreme eye candy. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff because it's going to be a mixture of models, GW models and not. Um, and then... Um, I'm going to cut out the wrong pieces. That would be kind of funny if I did. Okay, what is going on? Oh, yeah. No, it totally hooks. Uh, uh, it's one of these models. Okay. I hate when they do this. I hate when they make a model. Uh, Sorry, guys. It's I put the glue all in the wrong places. Freak. All right. Okay. So basically, what happened was I didn't I didn't really look at the assembly instructions, which I guess I should have. And what I was supposed to do was put glue on li literally just this bottom part. So now when I'm trying to stick it together, there's no glue where, I, where it has to stick together. Because it's it's got... You know, this is, this is why I get so angry sometimes at the assembly of GW models. Because they'll do things like this where it's like, oh, your model's going to only touch in like three different parts. And so you put glue on it. And because I use crazy glue... I'm just like crap out of luck because I put the crazy glue on the wrong spots. And then I'm like inadvertently gluing it to my hand while I'm trying to hold it. Which in this case, it was actually accurate because I need that crazy glue for when I'm going to put it onto the rest of the body. But it just would have been nice. It's just, again, the assembly instructions sometimes are a little... Oh, there we go. I'm just a little annoying. Okay. And while everything, I'm trying to glue everything a little bit quicker than I normally do so that maybe I can mitigate not having as many seams as possible. You know, and now these crushers, it'll be nice because I can use these as scale for any of the other giants I'm buying. I mean, I already bought two giants, so... But I think they're going to be right in line with the frost giant I have, and I have a fire or flame giant coming. 
Um, and then I'm hoping to get the Mantic Giant. So that'll be another like Mega Giant. And use that to basically be my second Mega Gargant. Because usually for most people that run these, they'll do three Giants and two Mega Gargans for an army. Which I've seen that build. And it works out pretty well. See, now this is where it gets tricky. And this is why I wish that they had a build, a, a little bit more of a build. Because of the sprues. Because the, the legs make kind of sense. But now, if you're doing the Chaos Giant, let me just look at something before I go further. Because if you're doing the Chaos Giant, he's still got the same legs. Okay. It's kind of weird that the Chaos Giant has the same legs, but he's got hooves. I think that's so cool. We're going to build the Chaos Giant first because I'm just like so excited. And I, again, that's why I was okay with getting this donated to me because I was like, ooh. I can use that giant in other scenario play. Or I can use it in other armies that I'm going to possibly be using in Age of Sigmar. So I was like, ooh. You know, and even and even what now that I'm buying these other giants, um, they can actually go into other armies I have. Because I have like for instance a Fire Slayer army, which the which the uh, the The, uh, I have a Fire Slayer army, which the, the Fire Giant I bought can go in. Because you can use the Behemoth... You, uh, behemoth. You can use the Sons of Behemoth um, rules to just play them as mercenaries. Because that's the new thing that they did in Age of Sigmar, that you can play all these characters as mercenary characters. All right, so I definitely, I think I just did both legs by mistake. Yeah, oh, I hate when they do that. So GW makes these crazy, and and you know a lot of places, a lot of people on streams, and and I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it now. They've actually commented on how. You know, with GW, it's it's why they don't like GW's model kits as much, and it's true. I like it's one of the reasons I like Mantic. I like um, Atomic Mass games, the Marvel Crisis game, which I think we're gonna do some Marvel Crisis Protocol painting too uh, tonight. But uh, I like their models better because they give you so much more range to customize. You can tilt your head, you can do all that stuff. But what they've done with GW's models in the last little bit is they've made it so you can't really customize the models anymore. So, you know, you have, they took away a lot of the ability for you to, you know, really, like, customize your poses, customize your models. You know, so they'll give you, you know, maybe they'll give you, like, a choice of heads and things like that, but they don't really give you... Um, you know, and especially in, like, 40K. 40K used to be able to, like, take a whole infantry or a unit and completely from top to bottom really customize the hell out of them. And, and what they've done is because they do a lot of models, and this is a great example of what I'm doing right now. Oh, actually, this might not be a great example. Right, I'm just trying to dull that. Um... Like when I'm building this model that I'm building right now, because of the way they've interlocked this leg, which they're doing it because they want to create this indent and make it with less seams <laughs> or as little seams as possible. If I wanted to reposition that leg or if I wanted to reposition elements of the model, I really can't. It's so interwoven and they've designed it in such a way that I really can't customize my model any further than what I already have here. So what they've started to talk about in a lot of the groups and a lot of people is that GW has really taken away the idea of custom or model bashing. 
They've really made it harder for people that are really good at customizing or doing different things to um, be able to model bash out um, their kits. So, um, I, you know, it's funny. I'm, I'm noticing it a little bit more with this model that you don't really have a lot of options. You know, so, like, I'm not able to change the pose of the arm or the leg. Now, now if you're good at this stuff, you can play around. You can be a little sneaky. But for the most part, you're kind of stuck. Because if you look, just for, for, for the sake of it, if we just look for a minute, once I put these on the legs, you know, like I'm going to put this here when it's dry, because I'm going to let them dry for a minute. But once I put that on there, I'm kind of married or stuck to that pose. Oh, gee, that's why I was going to wait until they dry. Um, I'm married or stuck to that pose. I don't really have a choice as to how that's going to play out. Um, I just don't. So I have to keep that leg there. Now, if I'm if you're good at customizing, there are sometimes tricks of how you can do stuff. But what it basically means if you're going to customize is that you're going to have to probably cut this leg off. You're going to have to refabricate parts of the clothing. You have to refabricate stuff because you're not going to be able with this model to really tilt as you're gonna see once I once I put it in there you're not gonna be able to tilt this model anywhere but in where it's gonna go because of the way that it's sculpted so it really does limit the way you're gonna customize because you can't just tilt this so, like, if I wanted to go, let's say, for instance, I wanted to be like, I really want to have them forward. Well, I'm going to have to refabricate that entire leg. I can't do that. You know, I can't do that with, um, I can't do that with this. You know, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, it's just interesting when we talk about it. You know, that's a conversation that has definitely come up in circles um, and, and actually came up for us on our show when we were talking a little bit about some of the tabletop models and what we were excited about um, that you uh, you can do. So, but yeah, once oh, but once I put that on there, once I once I seal the deal and and get that leg on there. It's it's not it's not going to be easy to customize. It's going to look. I mean, and again, I think the poses are great, but it just it, it it does limit if you are somebody who model bashes. Ah, Jesus! If you are somebody who model bashes, you're going to find you're not going to find it as open and free. I don't know why. I find all these models, they're so smooth now. I'm just going to let that dry. But yeah, it's a little, like, it's a little oppressive. They, like I said, they give you some areas that definitely will allow you to customize, um, you know, and change. And, and I think it's kind of cool, you know, going back with, um, uh, going back to what we're doing, you know, I think I'm one thing. Jesus Christ, why is my my fingers are getting stuck to everything? What the hell is going on? Um, going back to what I was saying, I think it's kind of cool how they did this model kit because uh, the way that they did it, you know, they they definitely, I think, gave you know for an army because the of course the whole idea of this army. Is that it's it's one of those like funny armies in Age of Sigmar. Why do I feel like that's wrong? No, that's right. It's supposed to look. Why does he look cross-legged though? Am I like losing my mind? Is there like some there? There's got to be some trick because he looks very cross-legged right now. 
unless I put the wrong leg on the wrong side. I don't think I could have, though, because the legs are deliberately on two. Yeah, they're on two separate. All right, I think I did this right. Kind of weird. It's just weird how their stance is. All right, I'm sure it'll make sense to me in a minute. Because in total GW fashion, I'm gonna it's it's gonna look like nothing and then it's gonna turn into something. Okay. Alright, so they're always gonna tell me where the chaos gargot parts are. So going back to what we were talking about, you're always gonna build them the same way. Except you're gonna grab the chaos gargon feet. Which, where are the Chaos Gargan feet? Okay, but if I want... Oh, this is so annoying. See, this is what I don't like. Because they didn't number any of these. So you have to just look at the pictures. And that's great and all. But... Unless I could just play around with customizing it. Can I customize the hell out of this? And make it a little bit e I think you can. See, I do this sometimes with GW models, which they don't tell you to do in the book. But I don't always fin it, follow the build instructions. So, like, for instance, I'm going to play around with a dry fit of this. I'm going to try to put that arm with the other thing. With the club. And then do the long arm with the other guy. Because I like him to have the club. Well, for the Chaos Gargan, I want him to have a club. Right, and then you're going to do that for the other arm. And then we're going to do this. Oh, there's all kinds of crazy crap. You could put arrows in them. Okay, so they give you a lot. They give you a lot of bits to play with. Oh, okay. Hopefully I can find that one that fell. All right, come on. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to find that one. I heard it hit something metal. Wow, all right, nobody likes, nobody likes this building stuff? Really? All right, the build and the paint did not come through. I had, I had a bunch of folks watching, and then everybody left. I don't know what happened. Um, shoot. I think I found it. Oh, oh, oh. There's a piece of plastic comes flying into my face. Okay. I just stepped on a piece of plastic. It's like worse than stepping on a Lego. Okay. So where is my where is my funky mega gargan feet? Is that a goblin he stepped on? It's a smush goblin. Oh, do I get two of those? I'll put one of those on my Mega Gargan. Definitely put... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal bits from this kit. That's so cool. So, like, see? That's why I was like, ooh. All right. So we got some Mega Gargan Who's. And these Mega Gargan Head at some point. You got, you got all kinds of crazy bits in here. You got crazy bits. You got cows. You got all kinds of stuff. All right, Mega Gargan head. You got guys that we're gonna use that head for our other gar our other guy. I think that's a sheep. Oh, you got some you got some nutty stuff here. Nutty, nutty stuff. Okay, all right. So we need. I think we need all our three fingered folks. All right, so we need our feet because we're doing the chaos the chaos uh, giant. Chaos giant's gonna have like hooved feet. He's all like messed up. Um, and I have a storyline in mind for the Giants, so it's very cool that I was able to make a Giant of Chaos, so that, and like I said, that was what the tipping point for getting this kit was, because I was like, ooh, I can use, oh, shoot, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to which one of these was the right foot, and which one, shoot, all right, um, All right, 
it. Sorry, guys. I'm doing. I'm. I'm dry fitting this in, just to make sure I have the feet right. Cause I don't think I do. Crap. I totally didn't pay attention to what. I. I did not pay attention to which one I cut it out of. Ah, uh, this is good. This is gonna end so badly. Because to hold, the, first of all, so the reason why these things slip out of my hands is because once I start gluing a lot, all right, so I need to just dry fit this. It's going to fall. It's going to fall immediately when I do what I'm about to do. Yep. All right. And I, uh, all right, I think, right, let's try it. Worst case scenario is I'll, I'm going to dry, I'm going to glue them, I'm going to glue them fast. If I totally screw them up, I'm gonna pull them out and and get them on the right foot. I gotta see. Uh, yeah, my. So what happens is I start gluing this stuff, and then once my hands get all stuck with glue, uh, come on. Once my hands get all stuck with crazy glue, I lose the ability to to hold anything because they it's. I have no pores left on my hands. They're all sealed up, so it just all slides because it's smooth plastic. So everything slides around in my hand. just want you to stay in there for a second so I can see what's going to happen. Okay. Stupid fucking... Ugh. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to curse. Yeah, and of course, what I love about it is it doesn't stay on... Okay. That's all I wanted to do. All right. Uh, it, it doesn't stay on the model. It'll fall out and then just, like, fall on my hand. I think it's kind of funny. All right, so that's gonna go like that. All right, so now I have a lot of glue in there, which should get that to stay up. All right, so the idea of why I wanted to get it in there was I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to see if it would stand up, but as you can see, I'm having some difficulty with that with that idea. All right, I'm just gonna hold that foot in there. So it gets a little bit more TLC because obviously this foot stayed really well. All right, so we get our hooved, hooved feet on our Chaos Giant, and that's what our stance should look like, and that's fine because he's supposed to be hunking over. Beautiful. Okay, now for the arms, I wanted to play with the idea of so that's going to be our straight arm, which shouldn't pose a problem. Now, what I want to try to do is with the club, I want to use this arm to hold the club and do something different. So my model looks slightly different than what maybe other people will be building. I'm going to let the feet dry while I do that. And again, we will do some painting also. I just want, I'm probably going to build like one giant and then paint. And then we'll do the other giant another time. Because I'm noticing that this is taking me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. So... Oh, they give you like a lot. So they give you, I just so you guys can see. So they give you like, he's just got a bit of stuff. He's got the big plank. He's got a chain. And again, these are all your chaos ones because they all have three. Three feet. Uh, three feet. They all have three um, fingers because chaos ones have three. Hmm. See, I think it's kind of cool if he brings that with him. Because that m matches the Mega Gargan I built. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. I think you have to pick this one. And I think you have to pick the other one. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, sp specific chaos markings on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that specifically has a chaos marking on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't even see that. So, I don't know if you guys saw it on the other side, but it's got, like, swords and crap on it. So, it's got, like, all... He's basically took weapons and shoved them in between two boards to make spikes. 
which I think is pretty amazing. So I didn't even catch that on the model. All right, we'll we'll go with what he we'll go with what he's normally going to have. I was going to play around I mean, you could go either way. Actually, I, I, I stand corrected. The Taz John has four fingers, too. It's just that that has the chaos symbol on it. So, if you want that... You're more than welcome to have that. The interesting thing about that hand is that it's deformed. Whereas, these are more nicely formed hands on some of the other weapons. So, it really just becomes what you want to do. I mean, you could even take the hand that's holding a guy. But I'm going to use that for... I'm going to use that for my other giant. Alright, so let's pop this out. I, I guess I'll go with the traditional because it's got the chaos symbol on it. We'll go with what the model intended. Because in their book, I don't think it distinguishes between, you know, if you do the Chaos one versus the, unless the Chaos book will have them in there specifically, I don't know. So, yeah, so then this would become... Uh, these are just straight fits. Oh, I hate when they do straight fits. So what I mean by straight fits? Straight fits are there's literally no uh, like divot or anything. Oh, is it focusing on the wrong thing? There's no divot. There's nothing. It's just like flat. I hate when they do that. Um, I know why they do it. They do it because it doesn't create a seam. So when you do it, it, it just it'll look nice and flush, but it's very hard to glue it. Bum, 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 I just watched the, uh, I re-watched the cartoon version of The Hobbit, so if I start singing, like, really weird stuff, um, like, weird ballads from it, I'm, I apologize, it's just in my head. It's amazing, so, uh, if you want, I mean, obviously, the live-action versions of Lord of the Rings, uh, were also amazing. But uh, if you want an animated version that's not too long, that doesn't take a lot of time to watch, um, check it out. Uh, it's probably some of the most gorgeous animation um, that you'll ever see. So I will 100% recommend that to a lot of folks. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Um, and, and I say it lightly to folks. It's not... Um, it's not as accurate. Uh, it's not that it's not as accurate. It's not as complete as the Lord of the Rings um, films were. I mean, and again, to put that in perspective, those films were, there was three, fil <laughs> was three films told over a very large amount of time. So they put a, a lot of, a lot of things in the movie um so that so it has i not to say that even the hobbit movies have all of the hobbit in it but it has a lot more of what happened um but this cartoon's nice quick and easy and gets you out in a little bit of time and and takes what i think is the most sensational parts of the book but it has a heart to it that i really like Yeah, so I didn't even notice that in our description. But he literally has taken, so if you look at a dry fit, he's literally just taken weapons and just shoved them in between two boards. I mean, if that isn't the most, like, giant, destructive, very orcish kind of way to build weapons that I've ever seen, it's it's pretty good. Wow, it's a slow night tonight, man. 
I'm so, oh geez, I'm so surprised of the lack of folks watching. That's so crazy. Maybe it's because maybe it's because everybody's like so focused on other stuff tonight. You know, I was hoping the whole idea that I wanted to do a lot of videos tonight was going to be so that we can, you know, kind of give. I wanted to give folks a little bit more. Oh, geez. Um, maybe give folks. Is this the wrong piece? Because it doesn't have the center. Oh, I might have screwed up. Is there another piece that has to go in this? Um, because I I went ahead of myself. Uh, very possible. No, no, no. This is this is right. Sorry. Um. I was, you know, I was really trying to give. My thought was to give people a little bit more of an escape, because I know for myself, with all of the election stuff that's going on, uh, for folks that are in America, um. I, I know it's been very stressful, and now, um, for folks that are in England. You know, uh, they just started another round of, um, of a lockdown. Like, so they're going back to being locked down again because of cases being bad. So I said to myself, I thought it would be a good idea for all of us. Oh, Jesus, what is going on? Why is this? Like, why is it holding so high? Um. I gotta start getting rubber bands. I talk about rubber bands all the time and I never go get them. But I don't know why this is not lining up right. It's almost like it's warped. It's like the plastic got warped. Um, but yeah, so um, I just thought maybe this would be a good time for a little distraction. So I'm like, ooh, we can get some model building done and some painting done. And you guys can talk and we can chat and talk about some other things. But um, unfortunately, doesn't seem that way. So I'm really sorry about that. Or maybe it's just because I started earlier and, and my audiences and folks are used to, because I'm getting a lot of international people, you guys are all later and I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Hopefully you guys can hear me. My output's good. All right. I'm just trying to get our, our giant here built. So the idea was for this arm, I wanted to see. Oh, uh, okay. So the issue with using this arm, well, we can. There we go. So I wanted to make it, this is where, so this model actually gives you a little bit more to play with. And I think I can make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to try it. So what you guys are seeing me do now, I'm just going to fit, I'm going to fit the arm in the position I want. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to fully glue it though. I'm going to let the arms, I'm going to let the hands and the arms glue separately. Because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to do it a certain way. And then I'm going to be like, I'm gonna, uh, here we go. I'm going to try to get it on there. It's not going to glue well. And I'll give it that time to set and to do. But I wanted to make a more dynamic pose. Because again, I don't know. I want my giants to have a little bit more intent. I guess is the, is the word. Oh, man. This is, okay, I'll just throw that on the ground. There we go. Sorry that this is, okay, oh, there we go. All right, so we'll put that with gravity helping us out for drying. Okay, so our giant's in a couple of pieces, but we got our hands on, we got our weapons on, and we're doing our chaos giant, so... That's the cool part about this kit. I didn't know you can build a Chaos Giant. So Chaos Giants, by the way, look extremely messed up. Um, all right, so we got the hooves for the Chaos Feet. We got the head for the Chaos Giant. Now, how? what do we put on our head that's going to make it look a little different? So 
There's not really anything. All right, so the only three things that make it to cast iron is that weapon, that head, and the hooved feet. You can go to town doing whatever you want for other. So I have to say, you know, going back to customizing, pretty much this entire model in this kit is very customizable. And I like that they give you, what I like about this kit is they give you a lot of bits that you can use for bases. So I'm, I'm actually going to steal a bit or two from this and put it on my Mega Gargant so I can paint in. They actually have a Squish Goblin. They have a bunch of other stuff that I think is pretty cool. So it looks like I'm, I'm actually done. Because, well, maybe I'm not. Hold on. Because there's got to be a piece. Ah, there it is. Ah, oh, that's that's dirty pool. It's dirty pool. Dirty, dirty, dirty pool. So we got to find, uh, where is it? It's going to be this, like, little crappy piece. There it is. So see that where my finger is? That's a tongue. You actually have to use that to get the tongue that's going to sit against the mouth. So going back to what we were talking about before, it's little things like this that GW does that makes it pretty hard for you to custom the model further than a few things. So if you look, and it may be hard to see, there is a little, little tiny, tiny nub that this very tiny tongue is going to fit on. So you got to put that little tongue on there. And then you got to put this head on in there. So that it will have a tongue. So going back to what we were talking about before, that's part of the reasons why a lot of folks that are in the hobby have been getting a little annoyed at GW because it used to be that they would just give you a molded head and you could just turn it or, or fit it. But now because you have to do things like this, you're locked in to one pose for that head. I can't really play with that head or pose it differently. Now, one could argue you could pose the tongue differently. Now, the way you do it for customizing, if I really wanted to customize it, like and I wanted to tilt the head... In this case, you literally could just, assuming that you don't do what I just did, you could literally just tilt the tongue. But what's going to end up happening is, and there it's going already, is that the tongue is probably going to end up glued on my face, uh, glued on my hand. Yep. So tweezers should be implored. Let me get my tweezers. Which I didn't get. Uh, are they all, they're all the way on top. They're all the way on the bottom of something. Of course they are. Okay. Sorry, guys. And again, I'm, I'm so sorry that I'm not... I don't think I'm entertaining as well as I usually do because I keep seeing people pop in and pop out. So I'm thinking that people are... They're they are not liking the Giants. The Giants are old news. I got to paint something else. I, got, I think you guys like when I paint. I don't know if... The, I, I think I'm going to stop building on camera. But what I was going to say was if you wanted to tilt them, you could do this and then you could play around... It might work. No, it's not gonna work. So yeah, you'd have to you'd have to mod this model quite a bit to get it to uh, to work. Y you have to go with the way that GW built it. That sucks. Yeah. Oh. You you have to go with the build that GW uh, set up for you. It will not work any other way. Yeah, you're locked in. You're locked into that head being the way that they wanted it to be. You don't have any latitude. So what what I was gonna say you could do, and it sometimes works in a few cases, is you could start trimming. So you could trim a ball joint. You could basically shave it off, so it turns into a a curve rather than a flat. Um. 
to pivot the head. So you can mod it. It's just a lot harder to do it. So going back to what we were saying, for folks that are into customizing their models a lot more in depth, um, they may find it a little bit of a daunting task uh, to make that correction or change. But if you play around with the bits like I'm doing, you're going to see that my Chaos Giant is going to look a little, at least a little bit different than the typical Chaos Giant. Just because I played around uh, with that arm. So I took a different arm uh, with it. So now my Giant looks a little bit more lumbering and a little bit more menacing than typically what the Chaos Giant looks like normally. So he looks like he's coming at you, like he's he, he's coming to party. He's he's not he's not he's not sticking around for uh, your your normal your normal what to do's here. He's he's coming. He's coming for you and he's got a big axe and and he's a little bit more on the move and mobile. But he's still got some of those awesome details. I love this. I love that he's mutated. You know, so now. But see, like, that's a perfect example. Like, it sucks that they... Oh, as I'm breaking my own model. It sucks that they made him point down instead of pointing up. Like, uh, come on. Why am I still getting stuck to stuff? I don't understand that. Um, like, it sucks that they made him in a downward position. It makes sense when you have other models around him. Because, obviously, you if you have um, tro infantry troops that he's larger than, he's trying to beat them up. So it makes sense from a model standpoint to do that. But it just it, it kills you. Like, it, like, what I would want is exactly what I just told you. Which is, I would want this, I would literally want him to look at me, dead square in the eye. So, if I do that, like, I can make, actually, yeah, see, I don't think there's a way to do that. I don't think there's a way to, there, I'd have to add something to his foot. I'd have to build more to his foot, or I could cut his foot. Could I cut his foot? So, it actually looks like that foot is down. Hmm, I'm thinking. I have a plan here. Because if that foot's like that... Because imagine if this foot is flat. No, because his whole leg is tilted the wrong way. It was it was made for it to look like he was going to... Yeah, that sucks. It just sucks from a... It sucks from a design standpoint. Because his head is pointed down. It would have been nice if I could have gotten his head. Oh, it's going to be too late now. Yeah, because that head's on there. I put a lot of glue. It, it, it would be nice if you could have bu built his head back to tilt it. All right, that's not that bad, though. Now, let's see what he sizes up to our other giant. Yeah, so if you look, he's actually punier than our than the giant I was gonna use as the other giants. That's kind of funny. So if you if you give him, uh, they're about the same stature. That's crazy. So the giant, there was another giant I could buy. He totally would have worked because these guys are that small. They're only about three and a half inches tall. They're not big at all. So, in scale to the other giant, they are going to look huge. But he, because he's like four inches tall. Now, he's bent down. So, he's, eh, they're about the same size. That's interesting. Okay. I was just curious where that was going to fit. But, yeah, if you compare him to the Mega Gargant. Like, you could see just how small these guys are in comparison to him. He's friggin' huge. Yeah, 
Like he's he's really big in comparison to them. Okay. That's intriguing. Okay. I'm I'm doing a lot of stuff out of order, guys. Ah. And I can imagine the audio is getting annoying that I'm like far away and all that stuff. Um, okay, so I'm just going to keep knocking things over. This is like accidental stream city. All right, so we've done all of our chaos craziness. Oh, there was a, there was. Okay, so you can do all of this other customizing stuff. All right, sorry guys, because the, the problem with this kit, which is, it's not a terrible kit. It's actually a cool kit because you can customize so much, but it does also mean they didn't give any instructions for anything because you can take all these pieces and make anything you want. So, um, technically with even the chaos one, like you're making the chaos gargant, but you don't have to, like you can put all the other bits on them. Like if you want to have him have a cow stuck in his pants or whatever the heck, like you're not bound by any of that to do that in any way so you know the only other thing they tell you to put on the chaos gargant is um the chaos mangler is you can put this like gown on him if you want i don't know if i want to do that but as far as everything else you can you can go to town and put you know different everything else is customizable so you can put other stuff on them Like, you could put, like, chain guys on them. You know, and, and, and other stuff. And what's a little annoying is because they wanted to make it a model that you can customize, they didn't put the symbols molded into them. They make you freehand all that stuff. Which, I don't know, I, I kind of get annoyed at stuff like that, but... Oh, I could do a different shroud if I wanted. No, nah, I like this, because then I can paint something on the shroud. I'll put the shroud in. But yes, yeah, it's, it's a pretty open open field with, like, what you want to put on him, what you want to put on his base, like... But what's intriguing to me is still um, the square bases. That, those are really, like, intriguing me a little bit more because I want to know. So, again, on the base side, what you would normally do to finish off, because this is it. We're, we're done. Like, we built, we built that model in record time. If you're doing the Chaos one, there's not really much for you to do. Um, what we could do is obviously jazz up his base a little bit with some stuff. Um, but... What I am still very intrigued by are these square bases. Because these square bases, as you guys can see, are very detailed. So I think I'm going to be using these square bases in Kings of War. I'm going to do the footprints. But that's going to be, I think, a piece that I'm going to steal for a model bash. Because, but then you have all this other stuff that you could throw in there. So, like, you have, and I think I'm going to put your main man there, a villager that's just, like, running in fear. I think that that's very cool. Um, he's just running away. Um, I might put a squish goblin on this one. I definitely want to put a squish goblin on the back of my base. Because I, I deliberately made it look like he has a footprint on my gargant. I want the squish gob goblin there, excuse me. So I think that's really cool. All right, 
right, maybe we'll take a break on this video and then I'll come back and do some painting. And we'll see how I'll build. I'll build another Gargan another day. Because uh, I thought this build video would do more, have more views. But you guys are not, not feeling it today. Not feeling it. Okay. Or maybe it's the daylight savings time. We're all still getting adjusted. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the... I don't know what the answer is. But yeah, this I love this. I love I love that they give us squish goblins. I love and and I I don't know if you guys can see, I keep talking about it, but there's the squish goblin. Like a goblin that just got totally obliterated. I'm gonna put one of those on there and I'm gonna put one on the mega gargant, because I think I get two of them. Do I get two of them? Or do I only get one? If I only get one, then I won't do it. If I only get one, I won't do it. I won't I won't put it on there. No, I get another one. Oh, and I get another villager too. But I'll I'll play around with that. Alright, cool. Alright, so we can definitely do that. Ooh, that's so cool. Alright. So let's put our big guy on our base. And then uh, we're going to put... Ah, Jesus. Because he literally is only held on by that one... That one spot. So, because you can see the other hoof is actually off the ground. So, again, GW, in my opinion, making a model that is a little annoying because it's on, it literally is only on the base by one foot. I don't know if I really like that or not. Um, I know this video said building and painting, but I think we're going to take a break and then I'll come back and do some painting. Um, so, you should definitely join us back when we do that. But this is the Chaos man crusher that i just built for the sons of behemoth army um we were just building this up i think it's a pretty cool model that's i i was saying before i was a big i really didn't like these models um because i thought they were kind of douchey but then i realized i didn't realize you could build a chaos giant out of it um which now what uh, i have a story mine a story mine i have a storyline in mind for uh campaign play that we're going to do once I get all these giants painted, once I get everything done, and then once I get a few special characters painted, um, we're going to have ourselves a little... Uh, oh, this is going to be really hard. Um, we're going to have ourselves a little special story. Um, so I'm going to have a bunch of fantasy characters um, that you're going to start to meet. Um, and we're going we're gonna to play... We're going to essentially play Age of Sigmar as if it was an RPG. Um, so something a little cooler than your average bear with that. Um, but I have to get everything painted. I have to get some the, pfft, we have some terrain painted. Um, and one of our giants hasn't arrived yet. So, or Well, kind of two of them, but I can make it work with what we have, at least for the beginning. And then... Come on, come on. And, okay, so what we're going to do with this guy. Ah. I also am going to come back to do the other model because I don't know if I have enough glue to... I'm starting to run out of glue, so I may have to do a little uh, inventory run. He only stands on by one foot. Every every model in this, everything I'm putting on this base, that's a big theme with these models. They made it so everything, it's like, oh, it's only got one point of contact. It's like one little foot. But I like the villagers fleeing because I have different things happening on all my bases. 
And I do want to get in the habit of articulating my bases and doing a little bit more base work, um, which I will show you guys how I do that. Okay. No, you can do it. Okay. So what we're going to do is get that bottle. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. All right. What you should have, and I don't have them. What you should use mechanical arms. I don't. I. I. I didn't realize that there were villagers running. That I was going to put on this base. So. So it's partially my fault. You can also, the other technique that a lot of people use, they use sticky stuff, um, like poster sticky stuff. You just put it. So you basically glue it down you sticky stuff another part of it so it just stands there Sorry guys, this is, I, I feel like my stream got a little boring. I will try, it's like I have to concentrate to get the stupid thing on there. Basically, I'm waiting until the glue gets what's called tacky. Once it gets tacky, then you can usually... All right, so what I'm doing... There we go. So it got a little on the tacky side. I'm basically using my tweezers or my cutters to hold it in place. Um, my, my hope was to then... Oh, geez. Oh, I think I got enough glue now. For the for the squished goblin. So I wanted to put a squished goblin on there. So it sort of looks like he was running and and hit the goblin. And then I'll like I said, I wanna put I wanna use the other squished goblin on my mega gargant. And then I'll, I'll figure out what I want to do. There's some other stuff we can put on the base for the other guys. Um, I don't know. Nah. Wasn't tacky enough. You know what it is? It's that I can't. And this is going back to what I said. This is why you want to have. Um, yeah, it's not going to work. I think that'll do it. And then I want to put the pitchfork obviously by him so that we know that was coming. And again, I like putting the people on there because it's going to provide a lot of scale. It's the same reason why I did that with the Mega Gargan. I put like debris and stuff around him. Um, in fact, I'm just going to take. Where's that crushed goblin? Let's just get that on. Too. While I'm at it, 
like I said, we'll take a little commercial break and then I'm not going to build the other um, giant today. We'll get to actually painting some giants because uh, I obviously will have to prime. And maybe I'll, I, I don't know if I'll build the other giant on camera. It was kind of fun to build one just as a little bit of a break. But um, like I said, those square bases, I'm really intrigued by them. And I'll show you guys on camera where I'm putting this goblin. Oh, wait. All right. Well, let's see. So if you guys look at my Mega Gargan, I actually put him... I had made it look like he had stomped on the mud. So I'll put the flattened goblin right in there. So now it looks like he stepped on a goblin. And then, of course, we have our comedic goblin that's running away because he just killed one of his friends. And then, ah, oh God. And then we have, of course, <laughs> our other goblin. Oh, can you guys see? I'm trying to do, like, 20 things. Ah, oh, Jesus, and it's hitting the other goblin. All right, I don't think you guys can see <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny i think it's funny because i'm trying to do i'm trying to do too many things at once and it's like really showing on this stream wow all right because i'm trying to show you guys everything at once all right there we go and then we have our funny goblin who's like running on his lay on his arm so i i made goblins be like a a comedic element to my gargant army um so i think that's kind of fun um, I love that this is a Chaos Giant. I Like I said, I didn't think you could make that with this kit. It was such a cool surprise. Um, and again, we will build our other Giant. But so far, everybody is fitting in the scale and the scheme, which is great. Um, so I'm really, really excited and happy about that. But please, 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 I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of a weird one. Um, I will be coming back shortly. We'll do, we'll do some actual painting. Um, so maybe we won't do... Marvel Crisis Protocol tonight. I'll do that tomorrow night. Um, maybe I'll give Mantic and Crisis some... some. Oh, actually, no. Tomorrow night we do our RPG stuff. So I might not be able to do that. Um, maybe we'll do Marvel Crisis Protocol tomorrow. I'll do a quick video. Because i got to give them some love. i got to give Mantic some love. Uh, I haven't given them some love in a minute. Um, we've been doing a lot of GW stuff. Because I'm really trying to push this army forward. Um, so we'll, we'll maybe start with those. But at least now we have another giant. So we have... Giants, giants, giants everywhere. So uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, please, if you are so inclined and like what you saw, um, please um, consider following the channel. Following the channel is free. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and, of course, if you can, um, please share and spread the word about my channel and what we do if you enjoy the content. Um, and please check out the other videos that we have. I do video game reviews, painting, drawing, uh unboxing magic cards pokemon cards toy reviews gaming reviews board game reviews uh, rpg uh campaigns we do a ton of stuff and we're going to be doing a ton of stuff more as things evolve uh if you can please 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 subscribe to the channel um and of course please check out the links below those links are also to some monetary ways to support the channel both the tip button which is right there on the bottom uh our youtube channel uh, which you can subscribe. It's archiving of a lot of the videos we've done already, but it, there will be original content eventually. Um, my Patreon, my website, uh, other ways to monetary support, because that monetary support does help with getting the models, the paints, the equipment, the things that we need, and to continue to evolve and change the stream and all, hopefully do this on a more uh, constant basis for y'all so I, I can do this on a full-time basis and do even more dynamic stuff. So um, if that monetary support comes, that would be amazing. I know that's a tough thing to, to for a lot of people to do now. Uh, if you can, please do. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you at the next video. As always, please stay safe, wash your hands, and please respect all the people on this planet because without everybody working together, we're never going to figure out the problems that we have. I hope this distracted you a little bit from a very trying time this year um, and specifically the last couple of days if you've been really following the election and things within this country. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to take a small commercial break and we will be back doing some more painting and some more videos. So please join us. All right. Take care, everybody. See you soon.